sound of tradition, born of coaching legends, and of Heisman Trophy winners. It signified iconic players with golden images. Inspired future greatness. And celebrated national championships. They too have a sound of their own. A sound of dominance. Of Heisman running backs that defined an era. Led their teams to legendary comebacks. And rushed for more yards than any before them. But recent success has come with a cost. Tonight, both teams hope those sounds are of a brighter future. Tyler, the tailback, and we'll get the call behind Adili, the fullback, and he only got about a half yard. Boy, Notre Dame, their defense, these first few snaps, playing inspired football. They're back in there with Mustaine and the shotgun here on third and seven. Mitch going to throw a slip screen to Woods, made the first guy miss, and then he got planted. And I mean, planted right on that SC logo at midfield. Yeah, I well, guess who? Guess who, tail. <laughs> yeah. All well, that tomorrow on ESPN. Tommy Reese throws out in the flat to Toma. Toma made the first man miss. He got a good seven yards out of it. Tommy Reese in the gun, and he might be under the gun. Delayed blitz. He throws, and it's intercepted. 34 is his longest one this year. Houston's kick. He's got it right down the middle. Perfect. Irish now offensively not a good spot to start again at their own 16-yard line. Tommy Reese, plenty of time, and completes it across the 20. Got it out to the tight end, Eifert. Now the gives to Robert Hughes, and Hughes has got a first down and would go, and obviously that's the same case with everybody. Trojans will not be bowling because of probation. Hughes, another nice run. Six tries, they've got a third and seven here. Mustaine throwing high, and it is intercepted. Or did it hit the ground? Zeke Mata's got his hands around it. The officials say no. It was really a nice play by Darren Walls. He was right there. The ball was a little bit high again. <laughs> he and Tyler Hammond were doing Notre Dame games. Now here he is sitting two booths to our left. Here's the best run of the night by the Irish. Wood picks up Darren nine Wood. yards. Stands in, delivers to Floyd, and he's got the first down. So third and long is better to them than third and short. And they're in USC territory at the 42-yard line. Reese again in the gun. Play action. And the throw is high but caught. And Floyd goes up in the air to get it over Sharice Wright. He's uh, directing traffic. Empty backfield for Tommy Reese. Throws high again, but Floyd caught it, trying to break a tackle to get back, and what a great effort to get the first down. It appears he's got it anyway. Yeah. To get you the first down. Where he caught it was not a first down. Where he finished up was a first down. That was just muscle. Hard inside technique up at the top, man. Coverage on Floyd. Here they come with the extra pass rush, and he got it to the tight end, and he's got the first down, and almost a touchdown passing game they got it first and goal well Floyd was coming on the crossing route and he was the decoy he was drawing the defense with him and that opened things up for the tight end Eford nobody was left on that side of the field because everybody was assuming the ball was going to Floyd two right here Reese fires caught by Floyd for the touchdown So Michael Floyd was huge in that entire drive. Well, he's a big target. He's a big body. And this becomes almost like boxing out in basketball. Just get in front of the linebacker and show the quarterback your numbers and shield the defender with your body. And the quarterback delivers the ball. It's a quick, easy, short throw to a very sure-handed guy. Adeli in motion. 
Play action, Mustaine, the quick setup and knocked down by Brian Smith. How about that series by the outside linebacker? Time he's reading the fullback Havili. When he sees him go out, he slits onto the inside receiver, the wide receiver, and does a beautiful job knocking that ball away. Because they can use our replays to tell you where the clock should be. We've got it set right where it should have been. And Tommy Reese gonna hand it off, draw play to Wood, and Wood's got Big yardage, and he's still on his feet across midfield, the 40, 35, and now you talk about the time of the essence. They just picked up 28 yards with a draw play. The field goal. They're out of timeouts, but they are at the 34-yard line. Reese in the pocket, waits and fires, and got his man Floyd, and Floyd dives to the 15-yard line. Reese throws to the outside, and that'll get his tight end out of bounds. So that's a good empty backfield. Reese in the shotgun. Fires to the end zone to Floyd. Did he get in? He tried to reach the ball across the goal line. They're going to say he's down at the one, and the clock is going to keep moving. It's a first down, so they can spike it again. And they do, and they get the clock stopped with five seconds left. No goal. Maybe a quarterback run here. Kamara and Floyd, two big wide receivers, are on the top of your screen and the bottom of your screen. Tommy Reese will... Go to Floyd, uh, Camara rather, and he's in. Touchdown. Wow. Talk about turning the ball game around in the last 45 seconds of a quarter. Camara 6-4. And he's strong too at 225 pounds, and he just got himself tucked in that corner, and Reese put it where he had to put it. Well, and because you're at that point of the field with a big receiver, the idea and the thought is that would be a fade route. So the cornerbacks both had hard inside technique expecting a fade, and they ran it out. And again, all the ball has to do is cross the pylon, and Kamara just reached it out with his right hand and broke the plane. And he hit the left upright. to add to the strangeness of the drive missed extra point Pacific Life game summary Tommy Reese got warmed up when he started going to number three Michael Floyd Floyd on a touchdown drive had five catches including the score and then Camara his other big wide out right before halftime Got the ball inside the pylon to give Notre Dame the 13-3 lead they have right now. They're going to bring the blitz. Reese throws, tipped, and intercepted. Kennard's got it. And it's even better than a three and out. And that's a 23-yard field goal attempt by Joe Houston, who hit from 45 earlier. Kind of a tough angle, but he tucks it in there nicely. Looked that way first and then hit from behind and the ball is out. USC's got it. And going towards the end zone is Nick Perry. And even if you don't make it, which you don't want to think about, your defense is playing pretty good right now. Mustaine, quarterback sneak, and he's in. Touchdown, USC. No signal given, but it sure looked like he was well over the goal line. There we got the signal from the line. For the third year in a row. Tommy Reese. Fires down the middle, and it is intercepted by Marshall Jones. 37-yard field goal attempt by Joe Houston. Mustaine to hold. The kick is up, and just inside the left up line, it's good. Tommy Reese and Notre Dame do something about it. Play action. Reese rolling left throws on the run, and he got it to Michael Floyd. And that is one common denominator in this game. You get it in number three's hands, good things going to happen. And that's what's got him in trouble a little bit tonight. With Michael Floyd's 10th catch. Here's a sprint draw to Sierra Wood. And Wood has got 10, 15, 20, and more. And the ball came out. Let's see, is it on the sideline or on the field of play? Sierra Wood, Notre Dame football. But it was a misdirection play and a handoff back to the open side, and nobody was at home for the USC defense. You know, Eifert was trying to throw a block. Luckily, he missed it, and he stumbled, yeah. and he fell right on the football. He's lucky he's the trailer right here because here comes the ball, and number 80 goes, I got it. Yep, Sharice Wright read the audible check. Hughes. And Hughes has got six as we go to Robert Flores for that day. And Notre Dame with a second and four. 
Hughes again. The big fella rumbling into the secondary. Boy, he's been a horse in the second half, number 33. Hughes has 42 yards rushing in the second half of his 52 right now. He's going to keep feeding him. I don't blame him. And he puts his shoulder down, and they can't get his body down to the 10-yard line. See, he's a north-south guy. I mean, you know, it, it's good to know what you can do, and Robert Hughes knows what he can do. He knows I'm going to get turned upfield, and then I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm going to lower my shoulder, and I'm going to keep pushing. And I'm going to count on my wide receiver, Michael Floyd, to help me out. Beautiful block on the safety, Tony Burnett. Notre Dame knocking on the door. They are going to throw, surprisingly. Michael Floyd catches it. Quick throw and catch to almost the five. Hughes now the single setback behind Tommy Reese. And he'll get the call. Hughes up the middle. Touchdown, Notre Dame. You talk about answering that field goal drive by USC. Notre Dame did it in some kind of fashion. And it was Robert Hughes doing most of the damage. Well, they just caved in that whole middle of the USC defense. Zach Martin, the left tackle, came crashing down. And Hughes ran right off his backside into the end zone. And when you run like Hughes, it fires up. Watch Zach Martin crash down in here. Watch the guard, Trevor Robinson, pull around. And then watch Ragone get a huge block to tight end. This is excellent execution and a line that is fired up by the way their back is running hard with the football. They just power that ball right into the end zone. Pass tonight for the Trojans. Second down with 2.09 left. Mustaine, three-step drop. Pumps once and then got it to Woods. The freshman, and he's got a first down. Don't lose the ball in that pile now. That happens sometimes when you're trying to do too much. They already got what they needed was 13 yards to move the ch uh, chains. Line. Second and seven. Mustaine tried to throw what looked like a screen, and the ball out of Tyler's hands going the other way. It's incomplete. Anti-Teo is the guy that put the hit on Tyler. Yeah, they read that screen perfectly. Anti Teo is responsible in coverage for Tyler. He wasn't fooled by the play. And again, he doesn't miss tackles. When he gets to you, he doesn't miss. Very close to being a completion, but Tyler never cleanly caught the football. And that's a good thing for, uh, for USC, obviously. 26 yard line of Notre Dame for a first down somehow. Mustaine, plenty of time, going deep. Out there and open and drop. By Ronald Johnson. There's the one you were talking about, Todd. And they had it. Person Smith falls down. This is a touchdown to take the lead. And Ronald Johnson just forgets one thing. The ball. Yeah. Oh, man. And that has to be the fifth dropped ball on a well-thrown pass by Mitch Mustaine tonight. At the 23. Mustaine, pressured, throwing to the end zone, intercepted by Harrison Smith. And Notre Dame won't let this one slip away. Harrison Smith's fourth interception of the season is his biggest one. Well, he's the one that got the early Christmas present because he's the one who fell down on the touchdown that wasn't. This time Mustaine tried to force one to Robert Woods. He was double covered and Harrison Smith stayed on his feet and sealed the football game. Woods went one way, the ball went the other and Notre Dame has the interception with just 36 seconds remaining. Storybook night for Mitch Mustaine just turned into a nightmare at the one-yard line. Everybody huddled around the quarterback. As he just takes a loss of a yard and takes a knee. And Notre Dame, they won't have a six and six season. It'll be seven and five. And a happy bunch on the road. They 